Hello you. On today's episode, we're going to learn how to draw some super, super cute farm animals, just using a few simple shapes. Next, I'll read one of my favorite stories, What If? And finally, we'll visit with some very cute puppies who know how to sing. Let's draw, y'all. I love to draw. In fact, it's what I do every single day in my studio. I spend many of my days drawing and creating the pages of the books that I write. I want to share with you how to draw some of my favorite characters. Today, we're going to draw farm animals. A chick, a cow, and a pig. Before we start drawing, let's talk about the shapes we'll be using. Circle. Oval. Square triangle, rectangle. Now let's get started. Draw a circle. This is the chick's head. Draw a circle beneath the head. This is the chick's body. Draw two hearts on either side. These are the chick's wings. Draw two half circles on the face. These are the eyes. Make a triangle under the eyes. This is the chick's beak. Draw three bumps on top of the chick's head. These are the feathers. Draw two lines, one long and one short. These are the chick's legs. Now it's time to color in our chick. First, let's give him a yellow body and head. Next, orange for the wings, head feathers, and beak. So what does our chick say? Peek, peek, peek. Draw a circle. This is the cow's head. Draw a large oval beneath the head. This is the cow's body. Draw four long rectangles below the body. These are the cow's legs. Give each a little bit of black at the bottom. Those are the cow's hooves. Draw two ovals, one inside the other, on either side of the head. These are the cow's ears. Draw a line across the bottom of the face. Below the line, draw two dots. These are its nose. Then draw a half circle facing up. This is the cow's mouth and he's smiling. Draw a long squiggly line at the end of the body with fluff at the end. This is the cow's tail. Add hearts to the body because every cow needs a few spots. Now it's time to color in our cow. First, add a little pink to the nose and the inside of the ears. Next, color in the body. I usually make my cows white, but you can color it in any color you like. So what does the cow say? Moo, moo, moo. Draw a circle. This is the pig's head. Draw an oval beneath the head. This is the pig's body. Draw four long rectangles below the body. These are the legs. Draw a heart with two dots in the middle of the face. This is the pig's nose. Draw two leaf shapes on either side of the face. These are the ears. Draw two half circles facing down at the top of the face. These are the eyes. Next, draw one half circle facing up at the bottom of the face. This is the pig's mouth. Now it's time to color in our pig. First, use a bright pink to color the ears and the nose. Next, choose a light pink to color in the body, legs, face, and tail. So what does our pig say? Oink, oink, oink. Have fun practicing your shapes and your drawing. What other animals can you draw with these shapes?
I love a great story, and I'll bet you do too. So now it's time for story time. This book is titled, What If? What if you were quiet and very small? What if you were super, super duper tall? What if your color was unusual and unique in its own way? What if instead of standing still, you liked to sway? You see, being different is special and it can give your spirit a lift. Being different is beautiful and magnificent. It's what makes life a gift. Everyone is someone special. We are all one of a kind. Just show the world who you are. Let your newness shine. So what if being small and sharing a gentle smile made you the perfect helper for an injured crocodile? What if the way you like to sway encouraged your friends to have fun, dance, and play? What if being your own color made you stand out in the crowd and seeing you made everyone shout their differences out loud? Being different is really amazing and perfectly okay. Each of us has something to share in our own unique way. So what if we celebrate each other and what makes us different too? Because today is the perfect day to be exactly and totally you. The end. This is my friend, Alden. You know, our four-legged friends have a lot to teach us. This week, we're going to meet two dogs, including a very cute puppy who loved the harmonica, and two aren't afraid to sing out loud. So next time you feel the urge to sing, sing with all your heart. Love each other.